Okay, I'm working on my galley hatch, and this is my eighth inch spacer, and it'll slide in here like this, and it'll be flush with the outside wall. And then I also have my half inch offset piece that slides in here. That'll go in there like that, and that gives me my half inch lip. That gives me my half inch lip right here for where my seal will go. And then I also have my gusset that I've cut out, and it'll go in here like that. So now I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the this is what the gusset looks like, and it'll go down to the bottom of the of the teardrop. I've got my piece of eighth inch spacer for my galley hatch glued up, and now I'm ready to install it on the teardrop, and I will show you that. I have most of my galley cabinets done, and so I decided to move on to the galley hatch until I get my door fronts and everything. So, um, what I got going on here, I just thought to kind of review with you. I've got my external piece that we made a long time ago, and it will ride in there like that. And then I got this three-quarter inch piece that we cut out, and the seal will eventually ride, will be right here attached like this, and it will go like this, and that seal will press down on this half inch offset piece. And then we have our gusset that, that I made, and all of this will eventually get mated together into one hatch. So that's what I'm working on. That's kind of a quick review. There's several ways to make a hatch. This is the Steve Fredericks way. From my research that I did, it everybody that had done it didn't have any problems with water intrusion and also dust because, like I said, this is going to be an off-road trailer uh, going down a lot of dirt roads. I don't want a whole lot of dust getting into the back of my galley. So I will start setting all this up and show you as we progress. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this three quarter inch piece and I'm gonna attach it to the outside rib here. And so I'm gonna put some glue on, the, glue on this back side, and then I'm going to countersink some screws and we're gonna do this throughout the entire board. I'm gonna throw these clamps on to secure it while I am countersinking these screws. All right, I'm gonna get started on countersinking these screws. Got my countersinks done. Now I'm ready to flip this over and put some glue on it. finishes doing this rib. Okay, I'm ready to start putting up the gussets on my sidewalls for my galley hatch. And what I've done here is I've taken a tailor's tape and I've stacked the two gussets on top of each other. And I want my spars to go that's going to go across the hatch to be every 12 inches. So I'm hoping me marking them off before I put them up there will make it a little bit easier so when it's actually in the galley, I can get everything nice and square and all I have to do is line up my spars with my lines on each side of the gusset. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I will show you when I get those installed. 
All right, I have these external pieces up here, and I'm taking my gusset, and I have put it up here like so, and I've lined it up. And how I'm lining this up is I got my clamp on there with the gusset, and then I've taken some boards on the outside so it will stay flush to the exterior wall, and then I make sure that my gusset and my external piece are flush and then clamp it down. And if there's a little bit of uh, unevenness, I'm going to take this and sand it all down after I put my spars across here. So after I get both of these done, I will uh, put, start to put my spars in there and I'll show you that. Alright, so I have my spars temporarily installed here and what I've done now is I've taken my spar and I marked off the middle of my spar. Now all I have to do is line up the line on this side with my spar and then on my other side do the same thing. And that'll help me get this nice and square and my, and my hatch won't be crooked. And my hopefully make it a little easier when I put it together. Also what I've done here is I've taken a piece of quarter inch plywood and put it on underneath these bottom spars. What that does here is I have my my seal that's going to go into the bottom of this, this spar here and this gives this room to compress this and you don't want to over compress these seals because then you'll have leaks so um, you want to do that on your bottom spar. I wanted to show you one more thing on this as well um, I have put just some pieces of eighth inch plywood on the back side of this gusset and what that does is that creates a little bit of a gap on this back side so when you go when I go to put this together that gives that a little bit of a gap and when I open and close this it's not rubbing on my side wall here and that'll that'll hopefully make that a little bit easier all right now what I'm doing is I'm taking my spars and I'm lining them up where I want them at but I'm also drawing around the outside once I get it lined up like that so my next step after I get all of that done on all my spars is to take everything off of the back of the teardrop, put it on my workbench, and then I need to screw all that together. And I'm gonna do some countersunk screws and everything. So I'll show you that when I get it over on the workbench. All right, I've taken my gusset and spars down, and all that I got up here now left is just my exterior rib. And I'm working on putting the hatch together. And I've taken some pole clamps, and some ratchet straps. That way I can cinch this all together. And you can see here that I have my lines lined up. And then also, let's see if I can't get one, the lines that I drew around the actual spar, I have those lined up as well. So now I am about to take uh, my countersink and put some screws in these. And that's the next step. I've got this all screwed together and you can see here I put my my counter sunk screws in and now I just need to put this back on the galley. I have the gussets and the spar back in here and I have everything set up just like I did previously. I have my eighth inch shim spacer back behind here and everything set back up to the clamp down to the exterior side of the wall and now I just need I got everything set up. I just need to screw this gusset back into this exterior wall piece here. And you don't have to countersink these because um, nothing's going to be in the way of them and you'll never see them because the exterior part of the, of the galley is going to be uh, covering it and also the interior side. So that's where I'm at and I will get that done. I have the interior side of the galley hatch cut down and before I take this off, to start installing that, I put some just some pieces of board on here, and what that does is when I take that off, that keeps this galley hatch from wanting to kind of maybe uh, torque a little bit, and it could be you know even an eighth of an inch off is quite a bit on this thing. So um, I will take that off, and then I will start putting the inside on. All right, this is the first piece. I just kind of threw it in there real quick, just to see what my edges over here are going to look like and so if both of these fit just fine I'm going to take this out sand it and then spar varnish it. I've completed spar varnishing the inside of this piece here 
And what I've decided to do is I didn't want a whole bunch of staple holes in my hatch. So I have gone and I have marked my spars up along these lines here. Now I've taken this piece here and I've cut the, where I want my screws. And I'm going to put caps on the screws to make them look a little bit better. But now I can line up the lines that I drew, come in here and I can put my screws. And I can do that on each one and that will make all my screws lined up and look nice. I've completed the wiring for my hatch here and I'll just go over it with you real quick. I haven't done the ends, the connections for my tail lights and my reverse lights yet. And that's just because when I put the, uh, the external piece on, I still got to cut the hole out for this. So that'll be a nice big hole for me to get my hand in here and do whatever maintenance I need to do. Which also I have taken uh, common grounds and common power uh, for all these lights and everything. That way if I ever need to get to this block right here, I can just take this light out and then I should be able to get my hand in there. So, and this is where my handle is going to go to, for the hatch. And I have my LED light for the interior here that I cut out. And this is for the RGB. And all that runs to the front here and goes in the top of the hatch. I've gotten done trimming this up. And I have a few little areas here on the edge that got a little bit of a, a rise on me. Um, I'm trying to fix those right now, put a little glue on there. And I've also come back in here and put uh, just some spackling on where my seam was at. I'll sand that down. And then after this is all set up, I'm going to take me a, a half inch roundover bit and round this over. And then if there's any, uh, any left of a, a gap, I'm going to go back in there with some spackling and fix that. So when I fiberglass that, it won't be any voids. Um, on the back back here, I have also marked where I want my tail lights and my reverse lights to go and then also my license plate light that I'm going to put on here. And the reason why I've done this now is I'm going to fiberglass it and then, then cut the holes out. That way, if I were to cut them out now, I'd have to worry about epoxy getting down in there and everything. Um, I'll be able to see these still after I get done with the epoxy so and the fiberglass, so that'll look fine. And when I cut that out, all I gotta do is just line that up and cut it out. I've hit my edges with this round over here. And I have also gone around and put in spackle uh, where I needed it on the edges. And then I also went around and did all of my staple holes as well. So hopefully that'll give me a nice smooth surface when I go to fiberglass it. I got the fiberglass down on the hatch, along with one coat of epoxy so far. Uh, nothing new going on here, but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like real quick.